I'm Beryl, and we're doing another episode in my Toppings series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a series where I give you guys a base and you let us all know what you would put on top of it. (laughs) It's more fun than it sounds when I describe it like that. So far, we have done white rice. I think everybody's favorite was the spam topping. My name is Wally. I'm a Filipino American from Southern California. If I had a bowl of rice, the two ingredients I like to put on top of it would be fried spam and a fried egg. We have done hot dogs. The bacon and peanut butter one was interesting. My name is Hannah and I am from America on the West Coast. My favorite hot dog toppings are peanut butter and bacon. And for today, I put the call out, 10 countries responded, this is the oatmeal episode. My name is Abigail and I'm from Australia. Here we call oatmeal porridge and I have it every morning for breakfast in a mug. I always top it with grated apple and in summer, like it is now, I also add diced peaches and frozen berries. Hello, my name is Andrea. I am from Bolivia and I like my oatmeal with fresh cheese strawberries and a little bit of sprinkle of sugar on top it really makes the difference hope you try hi beryl this is dinah coming to you from toronto ontario canada and the two things i like most on oatmeal are maple syrup as well as lingonberry jam which happens to be my favorite hi i'm kelsey i'm from india currently living in st vincent and the grenadines The island life inspired my toppings, and I find it really captures the essence of a pina colada. So all you need is kefir or yogurt, desiccated coconut, and fresh pineapple chunks. It's creamy, tropical, and refreshing. Shalom from Israel, and my name is Dan. I love oatmeal and uh, experimenting with topping a lot. You can try uh, chopped arugula and mint, a good amount of parmesan cheese, one fried egg, black pepper, salt, uh, maybe a little uh, lemon juice. I hope you will love it. Hi, I'm Ivana from Okrit, North Macedonia. And the way I like to eat my oatmeal is savory. I add a little bit of milk, a little bit of salt, and a knob of butter while I'm cooking it. And then I add a big piece of white cheese on top. It's the perfect pairing with oatmeal. Hi, I'm Marty from the Philippines, and my favorite oatmeal toppings are Milo, powdered milk, and some instant coffee. It makes for a nice quick breakfast in the morning and also reminds me of the Filipino dish, Champorada. Hi, Barrow. I'm Isli from Singapore, and I love savory oats. I eat it much like Chinese congee or porridge. So I first cook the oats and stir in some olive vegetable before topping it off with sesame oil, chopped spring onions, pork floss, and an onsen egg. You can also add a side of fermented bean curd for extra saltiness and umami deliciousness. Hi, my name is Faith Hunter and I'm from Illinois in the US. I make hot chocolate oatmeal, which is chocolate syrup and marshmallows. It's delicious. Hi, my name is Guillermo. I was uh, I live in Finland. I was born in Portugal, and in Finland, uh, oats are like a very big thing. And um, my favorite savory topping uh, is a bit of cold smoked salmon, some butter, and some fermented pickle. As we say here, hapan kurku, hapan We have come to the tasting portion. I have read your comments and I realize that a lot of you want to watch me eat these, which I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit surprised. I guess I'm cool to watch eat. (laughs) Anyway, I didn't film myself eating for this one, but I will for the next episode. So in the meantime, here are my thoughts. So we're gonna start with the preparation from North Macedonia. It was simple. The white cheese that I used is actually called white cheese. I was kind of surprised because I didn't know there was a cheese just called white cheese. It's very similar to feta. So I really like this. It was simple and it was savory. Since we're on the cheese train, let's talk about Bolivia. It was so delicious. It had like the vibes of a strawberry cheesecake, 
but savory. It all went really, really well together. Highly would recommend. Cheese and strawberries, I guess it's not that surprising, but at the same time, it is. From Canada, we had a maple syrup topping, <laughs> but we also had lingonberry jam, which is one of my favorite jams. I had it for the first time when I made the Swedish meatballs dish. And so I already had it in the house, which was very nice for my shopping list, but I also loved the combination. It had like, a, it had balance. Okay, this, I think that the pina colada oats, honestly, might be my favorite only because, well, it was surprising for me, but like, it really, really works. It tasted like I was on a tropical beach, but I was just eating oatmeal. I mean, ingenuity at its finest. <laughs> the Filipino oats sounded so interesting. Instant coffee, powdered milk, and Milo. First of all, I'd never had Milo before. I now have a huge jar of it. So if anybody has any recommendations for what else I can have with this other than just like making a drink, I'm all ears. I did not love the instant coffee though, which was surprising because I love instant coffee. I just felt like it didn't disintegrate enough in the hot oats and I just kind of felt like it tasted too coffee-y. To make these savory oats that Isli recommended from Singapore, I had to go to the Asian supermarket to find olive vegetable and the fermented bean curd, which was a little bit difficult. I did succeed. The olive vegetable is so delicious. It is so dark in color, so it felt a little intimidating, but I feel like, is it mustard greens? I'm not sure. It, it tastes really good, but the fermented bean curd was the star of the show. I realized that I did not make an onsen egg. I... I just couldn't do it, okay? I think this was probably the most standard oatmeal dish that I tried. The grated apple was interesting. I tried to actually grate it, but my friend who I was filming with had literally a grater that was only this big for nutmeg, and it was like, that was not gonna happen. So I just ended up trying to dice it <laughs> really, really tiny. I really should buy her a grater, actually, now that I think about it. It was like this big. Anyway, it was delicious. I think it was like, you know, pretty expected, but you know, a great, healthy, oatmeal dish. This one from the USA. Oh my gosh. I was so excited. Oh, come on. Hot chocolate oats. This was, if I was five years old, this would have been like my dream breakfast. My mom being like, here's some oatmeal, some chocolate syrup and marshmallows. But then you, you have to realize we're adults now. We can make oatmeal with marshmallows and chocolate syrup if we want. This Israeli oatmeal dish was, I think also one of my top favorites. I do really like savory oats. The fried egg. Mwah. The mint though, I don't use mint that often because I'm intimidated by how much flavor it has, but then every time I use it, I think, oh my gosh, I love mint. So maybe this is just a calling that I should use mint more. Last oatmeal dish with smoked salmon and pickles. I mean, curious. I think the only issue that I have, and I have this every time I put smoked salmon on something that is hot, is that it kind of cooks the salmon and then it no longer is the kind of smoked salmon that I want. But the pickles, mwah. I just, I also just love pickles, so. I hope that this was inspirational for you to help you shake up your oats a little bit. If anyone makes the marshmallow one, please let me know and tell me whether or not you felt as joyful as I did eating it. I think the cool thing about this series is seeing how flavors and presentations around the world change. And it's cool to think outside of our own boxes of what is a good topping. Anyway, the next video is French fries, as you all asked for. I'm curious what else we should do. I'm enjoying making these, so let's keep this series alive. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, I will see you all in my next video.